Hey everybody, Nakul here from Skillspeedy Academy. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with yet another super awesome power packed video on PT reading fill in the blanks with just three proven tips. You can get to that fire to fire in every question. Before we get into the video, if you're not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. And anytime you need online assistance, it's a paid assistance, you can check the information given in the description of this video. We have left a WhatsApp link. You can click on the link and send us a message. I'll be there, we will be there to help you, guide you in the right direction. All right, without further delay, let's straight away get right into the video. Let me just share my screen. Three proven tips for PT reading fill in the blanks. Fire to fire guaranteed. Well, you guys have to say fire to fire becomes guaranteed at the end of this video. It's going to be a short video series again, but it has got everything that one needs to know in order to excel um, in the PT reading F in, fill in the blanks. Fine, we go to the first proven tip. Find clues. Don't rely on your heart kidney lungs pancreas and lot many things i feel this is the answer i think this is the answer well this is the clue and hence this is the answer this is what i need not the first two the last one oh this is the clue oh this is the reason this is the answer hope you are getting it that is the first step most of the people suffer here suffer their memory because they've made the mistakes previously because of that they will not be able to perform effectively second thing is this this mission will not work correctly as a result they rely on their heart never do that a simple um, illustration I, I would like to give you through this question try doing this i'm gonna add a timer of three minutes on my bottom right try doing this in three minutes once done i'm gonna come back and show you what mistakes you've done but find the clues soon i'm gonna tell you where all you're not finding the clues and relying on your intuition let's start
All right, I really hope you have solved this. Let me just help you understand where you possibly have gone wrong. Compensatory afforestation simply puts a price on trees. Afforestation, you're compensating. You cut a tree because you want to make a furniture. And now you're thinking, I should compensate for it. Let me go and plant. Let me take a seed and sow. Compensatory afforestation simply puts a price on trees, making them a... Uh, it's a business model is the next line. Making them a tree, making them... People would write a lot of things here. The next line says business model. So that's the clue. Oh, because of the business model, it becomes making them a business, making them a commodity. Hope you're getting it. The first one is commodity, which most of you would have written. It puts forests, sorry, but reality is the chopping down forest tree. Many would have written forest. This is pure intuition. Feel forestry, forestry. You chop down a forestry. For, chop down a forestry. A year has to come in. A tree, not a tree. I want to have chocolate. I want to have a chocolate. An apple a day. Otherwise apples, otherwise trees. A is not there. Tree cannot come. Okay. Uh, chopping down a forest invariably destroys people, right? So the idea is very simple here. Um, the point is chopping down forest stretches. The st Stretch of a land, some land, some area of land. Getting it, that's the collocation. So now chopping down forest stretches is the second one. Well, commodity is the first one. Um, entire ecosystems of micro flora and fauna, multiple species, and dash of tree dwelling creatures. Locations of house of tree dwelling creatures, habitats of. So here, uh, it's a straightforward one, a habitat of. The fourth one, afforestation is always a monoculture. This is pure context, always is invariably, means there is no changes. Is invariably a monoculture, no matter how many, how many, how many roses are planted, how many trees or tree, um, it's saplings planted. Remember, um, it's not stretches or planted. People end up writing whatever they think is correct. Planted is the clue. Oh, this is the clue and hence the answer is saplings. You plant a sapling, not a tree. Isn't it so? So here, few of them are purely context, but few of them you need to find the clues. You need to find the clues like this. Making them a commodity, you can just do it on a flow, but this one is a pure, uh, you know, clue, you need to find, clue finding thing has to happen. Once you find that clue, then only you will be able to solve it. Same thing here, invariably a monoculture. And the last one, replanted is the clue because of that you write saplings. Never write forest tree, you cannot simply write forest tree. Grammar clue is not fitting there. Hope you are getting it, just helping you understand why you end up getting three out of five. You have to find the clues, you have to build that patience within you, then only, most probably, you will be getting that 5 to 5. We, so now try to um, understand this particular thing, realize it to the next level and start implementing it in the next set of fill in the blanks that you practice in some websites. Try doing things. Without a clue, I will not go ahead. Even if it is taking 10 minutes, even if it takes a lifetime. Alright, we go to the second one. Use grammar and collocation when required. It's not simply about context, like I told you, a forestry. Use grammar and also collocation. Recently, I made a six hour full course on uh, reading fill in the blanks, reading, writing fill in the blanks. You can check that video. Uh, everything is given there, everything and means everything. So here as well, um, I'm going to give some part of it. Uh, let's take up this question. The tip number two is don't just keep on reading. Apply the grammar and collocation when required. So I'm going to add a timer of two, two and a half minutes. Or let's say three minutes. Three minute timer on my bottom right. Try doing it once done. Resume the video to understand what mistakes you've done.
All right, I really hope you have solved this. Uh, let's understand what all mistakes you have done. While avoiding turbulence may not be possible, preventing dashes. Preventing? Prevent an injury. Preventing an or injury is uncountable. Preventing people write flight is. Preventing fast and days. Preventing expose. Randomly writing. So the next line, keeping seat belts. You turn on the seat belts. Because you don't want to get injured while turbulence, air turbulence, flight turbulence is correct. So this is preventing injury. The first one is injuries. Keeping seat belts collocation. You don't keep the seat belt on. You keep the you keep the seat belt sign on. You don't keep the seat belts on. You keep the seat belts fastened. Correct. So this is collocation. The next one, uh, even at cruise altitude, is the best safeguard against the dash of the weather, against the vagaries of the weather. That's a collocation. Just check them out in the internet. Vagaries of the weather means uncertain uh, behavior, some strange behavior of the weather. Sometimes the storm, sometimes the thunderstorms, all these things will make the flight uh, shake. And the last one, so the fourth one breaks new ground as far as the anxiety and panic experience during rapid altitude loss or violent busts, violent shake or violent buffeting, that's a collocation. The word violent always fits in with the word buffeting. All these are collocations, you need to know them in advance. So in our course, collocation only, we have some 30 hour of video, 3-0, I'm not kidding. Because it's a big thing. Any word can come in the exam. The last one, uh, now we're not reading this. Passengers can take, no, no, after two, verb one has to come. To endure, to expose. That's it. Flight is noun, cloud is noun. Verb one is endure and expose. To endure, to expose. To endure, higher stress levels. Stress levels, you don't expose uh, the stress levels. You're exposed to the stress levels, rather. It's you need to bear the stress levels or endure the stress levels. So answers are 1, 3, 2, 4, 5. This is 3 by the way. So what we learn here is you go with the context, definitely it will work. I'm not denying it, but it may take more time. Few questions, you have to do it like this. So you need to mix up the approach. That's the tip number two. Let's quickly move on to the the last one tip number three don't lock the options you have the key with you you have a lock with the key you just locked it i know don't don't just throw the key because you locked it no you can have the key you know right in your hand whenever you want you can open it remember don't lock the options is that freedom that you associate yourself with so that whatever the options you selected you can always unselect them. For example, I'm, I'm going to help you with this. Um, try doing this thing. For sure, many watching this video would make the mistake. Then there would be a way. There would be an opportunity for me to explain and help you understand the right way. So try doing this. I'm going to add a timer of three minutes. Finish it off in three minutes and then resume to understand what mistakes you've done.
all right i really hope you have solved it so what most people do is debugging tasks is what they write or tricky tasks sneaky tasks that's it these three will most probably people will write without realizing none of them are the answers uh, the moment you write debugging tasks here okay well and good we continue this frees up time to focus on the real brain brain teasers as a collocation so brain teasers okay uh, solving this dash problems logic always goes with tricky tricky logic problems still fine the fourth one some ai tools can help identify debugging bugs these people don't realize they think already debugging is done they don't even consider this and try to select something else but here debugging is not the answer i'm just showing you you have locked this particular option you just locked it without knowing that it's not your house <laughs> isn't it your log it is totally fine when you come here you should realize okay maybe debugging will fit here so i need to keep the option open i need to keep the option open that people don't do all right so you may write dash bugs potential bugs as a collocation uh, can help identify some bugs which are common bugs that's what it means the last one there's nothing worse than spending hours dash an error you debug an error boss so this debugging has to go to fifth one but if you had written for the first one totally fine i'm not saying anything but the problem is you wrote it for the first one and locked it thinking debugging is over now for this one what will you select you will select something else thinking go debugging is already i selected that over whatever you selected was wrong this is one of the main reasons why 90% of the people end up getting very low scores because they interchange things they lock the option thinking oh this one is done debugging is done but debugging here the debugging is fifth <coughs> but you would have selected fifth for the first one when you come to the fifth one even for a second you would not think that okay first one was wrong probably first one comes to fifth one this maturity this openness should come and for that you need to watch my videos follow the videos for more so that you understand you know make more mistakes and understand the real thing so now next whenever you solve a particular problem whenever you select a particular option always know that you can always interchange them you can always try changing it to the next set of blanks this is not done and dusted at this one particular formula if you inculcate over here magical things will happen so the answer for this is debugging is the first fifth one so now it is not sneaky this is sneaky sneaking it this is not sneaky uh tricky is done tricky logic so what is left dash tasks activities is a noun we need adjective great task fees task oh it's a boilerplate just google it what is boilerplate tasks common tasks which is used multiple times so it's a common task that's a boilerplate task as a collocation so now things are different um, these are all the psychological things people suffer this if this is fixed automatically things are possible some don't have patience some lock the options don't even realize whatever the options they chose was completely wrong and this would fit for some other blank so all the psychological things once you overcome you will see a ray of hope at some far end once you see the light it just running because you have now you know you are now seeing the direction some people are blindfolded or they are opening the eyes but no light they don't know which direction to run the, the second you see the light then you know which direction to run that's exactly what i am trying to help you out with through my videos i think that's all for you today three tips successfully explained i really believe it was informative and if you believe the same leave your valuable comments in the comment section and like share and subscribe this is nakul signing off from skills pt academic n a k u l uh, nakul signing off soon we'll be back till then take care bye bye thanks much for watching